All right, good evening, everybody. We are back. We are here for another uh, hour or so of marginal live astronomy. All right, I got Zuna here with me tonight. She wanted to come out to the observatory and see what was going on out here. And she said that she wanted to see some of these awesome galaxies. So, seems like the camera's working fine tonight. Uh, we started it up, no problems. I let the, uh, the cooling chamber cool down for a little while. And we're slewed around to our first target. And uh, everything seems to be good. So, uh, pretty happy about that. All right, so uh, if you were here last night, uh, we tried to do the Leo triplet and uh, the Sunflower Galaxy. And uh, unfortunately, the Leo triplet, uh, Messier 66, it was, uh, we got started late because of some camera trouble and it was just too far down on the horizon. Um, but I think we got there about like maybe 1030, quarter to 11. Um, so tonight, uh, I think we're going to start with those two galaxies right off the bat. And then, uh, then we'll see what other trouble we can get out here into the, uh, to the great unknown that is uh, live astronomy and space. All right. That, uh, background music was a little loud there. Uh, it's uh, sounding good, let me know. It's uh, a little loud in my headset, but uh, all our music is from Eric Medias from soundimage.org. He lets us use all of his wonderful space-themed music. He has a ton. All right. Well, there we are. We're already slewed to this target. This is uh, M66, the Leo triplet. There is three galaxies in here, M66. 65 m66 and uh the hamburger galaxy uh which is ngc 3627 all right Let's see here so i've done this target before uh Oh, okay, Damar, thank you, thank you, thank you, that it sounds good. All right. So, uh, I've done this uh, image before, uh, marginally, of course, because that's what we do here best. Um, I already know that video mode, uh, we're not going to be able to do uh, real-time adjustments uh, with video mode. We're probably going to need at least 7 to 10 seconds of exposure time on this, although it will be a live loop. So let's get right down to business here and see what we got. Let's go ahead and uh, get over into trigger mode. And uh, let's uh, let's do seven seconds. Let's just take a quick picture here and see what's going on. All right, there it goes. All right. Oh, hey, down the bottom of the screen right there. You see that line? That's Elon Musk photobombing us he does that all the time that guy is crazy all right so yeah looks like we can see a little bit uh just to let you know um seeing conditions are decent tonight they're not great uh there was a lot of big plumes of white smoke uh over there in globe still it's still burning unfortunately and um uh, they're getting a lot of it contained, I believe, and uh, when they put it out, we get those giant plumes of white smoke on top of the mountain. Uh, luckily, the wind is sort of blowing to the east, but it's really not helping a whole lot. It's uh, filling up the night sky. All right, well, let's see what we got here. Oh, hold on, here we got. It's getting warm out here. The bugs are going. <clears throat> I think I just ate one. The bugs are going crazy out here. Luckily, it's dark in here, so uh, uh, just the monitors tend to attract a few of these fly bugs around here. All 
All right. Quick look at our telescope here. Here's our Clyde cam. We're looking up and we are pointed towards uh, the west for this galaxy cluster. All right. All right, seven seconds. Uh, right here is, uh, let's see, here is the Hamburger Galaxy. Uh, we usually get a lot of detail out of this galaxy and the Hamburger Galaxy. Let's see what we can do. I don't think that's quite enough exposure. Uh, let's, uh, let's raise this to 10 seconds. Uh, right, and then we'll check our histogram. Well, that's that's a little better I think our histograms off just a little bit remember you want these uh, histograms you want your red green and blue you want to be able to make sure that uh, when you do your white balance uh, uh, that those three are stacked on top of each other and that'll give you a pretty good uh, uh, color on the image so let's click our let's put it uh, in our loop here we'll start it up all right, and then we're gonna do our white balance button. Usually put that in a little black square down there somewhere and uh, it usually will fix it. There it goes, it's fixed and it's nice and white there. That's what we like to see. A nice black background with uh, nice white stars. All right, so we're pretty high on the histogram here. Let's go ahead and see if we can't get this sky to look black. We don't run into the colors too much there. Let's see what we got. Boy, it was hot here today. Um, it was probably around 113 degrees here today. Yeah, it was pretty hot. And, uh, oh, look at that. Look at that. That looks great. Wow. All right. I think that's pretty good. I think that's pretty good. I think we're where are we at on our gain? We're only at 9.44 on the gain. I think we're going to leave it there. Let's start a stack uh, for 10 frames and see if we can't get this cleaned up and looking amazing. But yeah, it's uh, it's about 85 right now inside the observatory. Uh, we've had the air running all day. Uh, it's some I uh, had to do some insulation on the roof because it was. Uh, really getting starting to get uh, warm outside and this is the first year we've had the uh, observatory and we're going to be out here during this summer uh, last summer we really didn't have the observatory we were working on it but it's definitely not uh, in the position that it is now all right boy that stack is cleaning up really nice Checking my phone here. <laughs> Our beautiful co-host Bonnie is inside tonight. Oh yeah, that's got some great detail in it. Look at that. That is something else. We are at five output frames. All right, let's let her keep going here. Let's get some good stacks in that. Yeah, you're right. It's going to be a hot week uh, all week. It's going to be in the high teens, I think, by the end of this. Summer is officially here. I'm not a fan of the uh, super extreme hot heat like that. Um, I don't mind it. I don't necessarily like it, but uh, I do like that in Arizona, we have to just only put up with uh, about three months of really hot weather. And then it starts to, to cool off just a little bit and it's bearable. And then for the rest of the year, it's beautiful here. We don't even check the weather here in Arizona. It's sunny every day. All right, look at this. This looks great. Wow, that's amazing. All right, I think let's take a snap of this. All right, we got our 
picture snapped right here. Let's zoom in on this and let's see. Let's get up to 67%. Oh yeah. Look at the detail in those galaxies. That is amazing. Wow, look at that. That is nice. Well, you can really see the detail in this. Um, don't forget, if you're watching on Facebook, Twitch, or our YouTube channel, make sure you are subscribing, liking, and following, and putting your notification bell on so we can uh, always let you know when we are live here uh, at Starlight, Starbright Observatory, and we can bring you the best mediocre astronomy you can find thanks Janet yeah it looks good uh, the hamburger galaxy right here boy that looks that looks good let's try and do a hundred percent here oh it's gonna let us do it boy that's amazing look at that it's still a little hazy out for sure uh, yeah yeah it's hazy you can see some of the haze in the screen here but still, uh, for the seeing conditions, that is amazing. And don't forget that these pictures that you're seeing, these are not processed pictures. These are exactly what the camera and the scope is seeing. Uh, so a lot of the pictures you see on the internet um, have hours and hours of pictures and images stacked on top of each other, hundreds. And um, what they do is then they'll take that and put that in um, the GIMP or usually Adobe Photoshop or some uh, Astro Pixel uh, photo program. And then there's a way you can do layers and you can pull apart these things and really get some great detail. But it is not the exact picture that you see here. This is really almost looking at it uh, in its raw form. All right, let's do a quick, oh, thanks for the subscription, Alex. Thank you, thank you. Yeah, I'm glad you're liking it. Let's see here. Let's see if we can do a quick, uh, we'll do a small process. And remember, all the process we do here is in Malincam Sky. All right, let's blacken that sky up just a little bit. Uh, we're gonna do a quick denoise. And then, of course, uh, with all photo enhancements, uh, the big thing is putting a curve in it. So let's start with this uh, M66 here. Let's uh, put a little bit of a bright curve in it. We don't want to go too much because it'll get that center overexposed on us. There you go. I don't know if we can put a little blue in that and it may there's blue in this galaxy anyway take a little bit out there we go try and make that blue pop just a little bit better in the center there uh, we don't want to get too crazy with it because it could get uh, get the picture washed out very quickly boy that is gorgeous I'm not sure if we could get hundred and fifty percent on it or not uh, it doesn't really look that pixelated but there you go, there's M66. Boy, she is gorgeous. Look at that galaxy. All right, and of course this is the Leo triplet. And we have our M65 here. Uh, that galaxy, uh, if we come down to 100%, usually doesn't show quite as much detail as uh, M66 does. Uh, but nonetheless, you can see right along this line right here, there is some good detail in there. Uh, not bad for just a couple minutes worth of imaging. All right, let's come over here to the Hamburger Galaxy. There it is. Wow. That is good stuff. Yeah, I'm excited about that picture. That's a, that's really good. Um, it's not quite as good as we have gotten before because of the seeing conditions. Um, unfortunately, that's just how it is with astronomy. So, but we are very fortunate here in Arizona. We do have really good skies, probably 80% of the time. Wow, there it is, everybody.
All right, there is the Leo triplet right there. There they are, the Leo triplet. Boy, they look gorgeous. What a great picture. And we do have a little bit of haze and some vinaigretting here from uh, from the smoke, but hey, it looks pretty good. I'm very impressed with that. All right. Now, don't forget um, to see what we are looking at. Um, there's a website called tonightsky.com, and you can look that up, and you can put your coordinates in. Uh, you know, do a quick... Uh, you could probably get the... Uh, Longitude and latitude uh, right off your phone um, and then put those coordinates in and don't forget astronomy uses military time So put the military time in that you'd like to view and it will uh, Have a couple check marks you can put on there uh, whatever you're looking for galaxies or nebulas um, Whether they are be easy for like binoculars or something very hard um, to look at with a very high magnitude number which would Pretty far, pretty dark. Um, and it'll bring up a whole list for you. Uh, that's what we use here because um, I don't know a whole lot about astronomy, but we're going to learn together. All right, there it is, the Leo triplet, and it's stacked, and that's a great picture. All right, let's uh, stop our live stack right here, and we'll go back to regular a video mode stop so right here what you're seeing now this is obviously um kind of blurred out but if you had a telescope and you were looking through eyepieces this is kind of how you would expect to see some of these galaxies uh, if you had a scope that was uh with a big enough lens and it was clear enough out to see because remember with a bigger scope uh, all that power magnifies everything else too, not just the galaxies. All right. Well, I'm glad we got that one down. I said yesterday we were going to do this one right away, and we did, and the results were very good. All right, let's switch back over here to video mode. There we go, and we can still see them right there. All right, so let's uh, switch over here to die chart. All right, but I don't think we're connected to the scope yet. So let's connect to the scope. All right. Um, it's wonderful, some of these new mounts and stuff like that. This Los Mandy with the uh, Gemini 2 go to, uh, it makes life really easy. All right. So on tonight's sky, uh, Last night we tried to do the Sunflower Galaxy, and it was uh, it was getting pretty hazy out, and we just couldn't really get a good picture. I think tonight we're going to try it again. Um, let's see if we can't bring that up and get something that's uh, host worthy on the internet, so we can show everybody what we do here. All right, we are going to do the Sunflower Galaxy, and it is catalog number. NGC 5055. We'll put that in sky chart here. All right. Let's see here, NGC 5055. All right. There it is. And it comes up as M. 63 you can see it right here if we zoom in in our sky chart right there there it is right there all right let's tell the telescope let's see if we can't slew around to this thing all right there goes Clyde working his magic All right, we are. Okay. Right, there it is. There's the Sunflower Galaxy. We can start to see it right here. All right. 
Let's click the wrong buttons here to try and get this thing centered up. Because that's what I do best. Click the wrong buttons. Oh. Click two of the right buttons. Just jog it a little bit at a time here because remember it's taking a picture at a second and a half a time. We don't want to get too far ahead with it. All right, we've got that centered pretty good. It is in the bullseye. It just makes it uh, a little easier to see as we're streaming. And of course, we're right in the middle of that camera sensor and that's where we wanna be. All right, so uh, like last night, uh, I already know that this is gonna take a little bit longer to expose. Uh, we're not gonna be able to do it in five uh, seconds or less. So let's go ahead and we'll just leave it right at what we have it here. Uh, at 10 seconds and let's start our loop. I think we're going to be really close with this. Oh, there it is. There it is. It's coming up. All right. Let's change our universe location here. All right, NGC 5055, the Sunflower Galaxy. Oh, hey, look at that. We got a streak going there. If you can see that, that's old Elon again. Boy, he's really, uh, <laughs> he's wanting to get into all our pictures tonight. All right, let's see if we can't zoom in on this just a little more here. We're at, let's do 60. Percent. All right, there it is. There it is. Boy, that even without even stacking, well, you can start to see the detail in there. All right, where's our ROR? Our histogram looks pretty good. Uh, this wasn't far too far off slewing um, from the Leo triplet, uh, so all our settings are be pretty close. All right, there we go. Let's. Let's get the sky a little darker. There we go. All right. All right, let's do a... We're going to stack these pictures and see if we can't get this cleaned up and looking amazing. There we go. We're viewing in at 75%. Where the stars look pretty good. The focus is pretty good. Got some nice diffraction on some of these stars. Now, if you can see right here, there's another galaxy right there. I think uh, Zuna's behind me on the chair and she's already sacked out for the night. She likes to come out here to the observatory. Uh, I jiggle the keys for it and she pops up and she's ready to go. That's looking pretty good. It's uh it's really stacking up nice. While that's stacking, let's see here, uh, a little background on uh, the Sunflower Galaxy. Uh, let's see here, uh, NGC 5055 is also known as Messier 63. Nicknamed the Sunflower Galaxy is a beautiful, and it is a spiral galaxy. Uh, Let's see here. Oh, interesting fact. M63 was the very first discovery of a deep sky object by Charles Messier's, uh, Messier 63, friend Pete Meachin, who caught up to it in June 14th, 
1779. On the same day, Charles Messier put it in the catalog, and now we know it is M63. It looks like it's about a distance of 37 million light years from Earth. Well, that's a little farther than some of the other ones we've doing. Not awful. All right. Boy, that's stacked up pretty nice. Yep, we got 13 frames on that. And uh, let's take a quick snap of that. Let's see if we can't... Oh, see that? There's another galaxy right there. We're still a little... Uh, we have this little bit of a gray look to it, as you can see. A little, little tinge from the uh, smoke in the air. All right, let's do a do a range. And see if we can't get it a little bit blacker. There we go. Boy, that looks pretty good. Pretty amazing. A quick denoise. And then always we're going to try to put a curve into this. And we'll try to lighten it just a little bit. to Try and bring out some of the outer edge of the galaxy there we go actually just keep going with that and then back off on the bottom of the curve there we go boy that looks gorgeous there it is everybody NGC 5055 the sunflower galaxy uh, we could try to zoom in a little bit I'm not quite sure it's going to let us oh we can do 100%. You can see it starts to get a little pixelated, though. But still, some amazing detail right here in the center. Boy, what a gorgeous galaxy. Uh, definitely a target we'll have to come back to when seeing conditions are really good. Uh, it does really pop, and it has uh, quite a few blue and red colors in it um, that are just there. Uh, and the camera captures them uh, right away, and you're able to bring those out fairly easily with minimal processing all right here in mountain camp sky boy that's a nice galaxy all right boy i'm happy with that that's uh that's really good and there's our live view again this is a live view so but definitely for this galaxy, you'd have to have something with a little bit, uh, uh, with a, a good lens in it and a little bit of light gathering uh, capabilities on it, a little bit bigger telescope. Uh, so it would be, uh, <laughs> yeah, right? Thinks it's a car ride. Yeah, I know. Oh, Elon. Hey, maybe that's one of his cars he sent up there. You never know. Uh, those Starlink satellites are everywhere out here when you're looking at the, uh, when you're taking pictures out here. Uh, they photobomb a lot if you're in the right area. But uh, we are waiting for Starlink out here. I know we're signed up for it, and we're just waiting for it to uh, come to the area, and we'll be purchasing the equipment to get it. Because um, we do live out here in the middle of nowhere. Uh, we're on a giant wireless right now. It does fairly well. Uh, it could be a lot better, that's for sure. All right. Well, let's stop our stack here. And let's go back to... There we go. What's amazing is how it changes when you stop the uh, stack like that. Let's go back to video mode. All right. There it is. That's kind of how it would look uh, if you were looking through a telescope with your naked eye. That's the way a lot of these galaxies come out. Because remember, your eye can't see all those colors that the camera can. All right. Okay, well let's, um, I'm going to go over here to, let's go over to Sky Chart. This is sort of a uh, 
Sky Chart is a free program. Um, they have a couple of these programs you can use. Um, Stellarium is one, and this is another one. And there's a couple other ones, the Sky X. Uh, uh, Stellarium and this are free. Uh, Stellarium uses more of like a 3D modeling capability, uh, but it's really hard on your processor if you don't have a newer machine. And um, this one for us just seems to be a little bit more simplistic uh, in how it works. And because it's simplistic and we do mediocre astronomy here, it's a little easier for us. All right, and we are in tonight's sky. Let's see here. There's quite a few galaxies here. Uh, but it is a little hazy out. So let's back up. Let's see uh, what we've got in here. Also, um, if you have... Uh, any requests, you can always email them to us at Starlight Star Bright Observatory at ProtonMail.com. Or you can get in here and chat and throw your request here in, in chat. And if it's uh, able to be seen, we'll, we'll send Clyde over to it and we'll see if we can uh, get you a mediocre picture. So, okay, so let's try this. Uh, yesterday I said we were going to try a couple nebulas. Um, some of these nebulas that are out right now, there's uh, the Turtle Nebula. Um, so I can talk to you a little bit here. Uh, the Turtle Nebula, uh, it's pretty small, especially with the hyperstar setup. Uh, I think we would definitely need to reconfigure to see that. It's be very small streaming. Um, let's see the blinking planetary nebula. That's another small one. But we do have at the top of the list here on tonight's sky, we do have the Apple Core, or the Diablo, or if you want to call it the Dumbbell Nebula, which is M27. So, over here on Sky Chart, let's put it in the coordinates. M27. Let's see where we're